Hey there, Mike Rodriguez here. Today we're going to look at SNMP traps in LM Log. As you probably know, Logic Monitor has supported SNMP traps through event sources for quite some time. However, there are some unfortunate limitations with this approach. Luckily, with logs, uh, we were able to take a more modern approach and also overcome a lot of these limitations. So not only do you get all of the best functionality of logs, um, but you also, you know, get a bunch of improved event source type capability as well. Let me explain. So with event sources, if you're using them for traps, uh, you would not get any mib parsing, right? The traps come in, you've got a cryptic OID number, can't really figure out what it is unless you've memorized OIDs, which I hope you haven't, or unless you look it up. Additionally, with event sources, every trap resulted in an alert, right? So you couldn't have an informational trap that just came in and hung out for possible uses, possible use in an audit use case later. There's also no stateful alerting. Probably the classic example of SNMP traps are link up and link down traps, right? Generally, you want the link up trap to close the alert generated by the link down trap because you no longer have a problem, nothing else you got to worry about right now. You can't do that with event sources, but you can do that with SNMP traps in logs, and we're going to take a look at that in a minute. There's also quite a bit less configuration for the logs version of traps than the event source version. The event source version effectively requires that you punch in every OID. With logs, we basically translate and ingest anything you throw at the collector as long as we can. So let me get you oriented really quickly. Um, this is the logs interface, obviously. We've got our query up here. You can see some logs down here with some different pieces of information. We can get the log levels, the resource, the time they came through, the actual message content from the log, all the general stuff you'd expect. Of course, we can do time ranges and all of that. I really like that there's some handy autocomplete, so let's actually look at some traps. Um, I want to search by a specific log source type, right? So all of the traps come in and they hit a SNMP type, uh, sorry, an SNMP trap type log source which we can easily see here. Oops, didn't really have to type. It knows what I want. So we'll run our search. And it looks like within the last 15 minutes there was some issues, but looks like it's good to go now. So no big deal. Let's take a look at this one. So we can see that the OID was translated. We can see that this is a link down trap that resulted in a critical error. Uh, we can also see that just a minute later, the link up trap came through and actually cleared it. You can see a breakdown of all the fields over here. We can even easily add these to our filter criteria if we want to. We can look for only link up events. We'll go back to just looking at traps and, oh, hey, would you look at that? So we just had one come in with an error and it opened up another link down trap. We can see it just happened one minute ago. Um, hopefully this comes back up soon because I'm in the middle of a demo and I don't really want to go fix something. Also, this particular resource is actually very important. Um, this is a very important piece of networking equipment and if any of the interfaces are down, I've got to scramble. So I really... Might not have time to finish this demo. Um, we'll keep a quick eye on this to see if it clears up. Oh, and hey, wouldn't you know, it's back up and it's cleared my alert. Well, that's good because I really wanted to finish this demo and you guys got to see, see it go live. So again, this particular resource is a network resource where I just can't wait three minutes you know, for a, for a data source to pull again and see if the interfaces are down. If an interface is down, I need to know right away, because um, as long as I'm not wrapped up in a demo, I would have jumped on it to fix it. Um, of course, it fixed itself, or one of my engineers grabbed it. Uh, they're watching the alert panel, so they might have helped me out while I was doing the demo. Again, so if this had happened in event sources, uh, you would actually have four different alerts here, and you'd have to go clean these up. And I'd probably have to sign off and go tell the engineering team 
that it was okay, or they'd have to wait for the next poll to figure out, you know, that things had cleared. Or, God forbid, walk into the server room and check manually. So that's pretty much the long and short of it. Again, all of the other logs functionality applies. So if you've got anomalous traps, they'll show up with the little anomaly uh, icon. You can do pipelines, integrations, uh, everything else that you can do with logs, you can operate the same way on traps. As far as what's coming in the future, um, we do have a MIB, MIB upload functionality coming, which will let you upload MIBs directly to the portal. Now, I should mention, we do actually include a huge catalog of MIBs out of the box, so you really don't have to worry about this for the most part. If you do have proprietary network devices or possibly even your own custom MIBs, uh, you can easily upload those into the portal, uh, and they'll get automatically distributed to the collector. Um, the ones you're seeing here are part of the default set. Anyways, again, SNMP traps plays really well with logs, gives you instant insight to what's going on in your network and anything else that can send traps. Essentially zero configuration. It's ready to go out of the box. You just got to enable it on the collector and point your traps at it. You get to see all your other logs in the same interface, whether they came from syslog or some other system sending traps. And you can automatically close alerts with the stateful alerting um, and really lower you know, the amount of management and time that you have to deal with with incoming traps. Anyways, take a look at it. We think you'll like it. Take care. Thank you.